Do you love your children? Let's get personal. I know that it's a hard question to answer. Do you love your children? In America, we have this conversation where we, pre- we pretend to love the children. And then after we pretend to love the children, we have sympathy on the mother. And after we have sympathy on the mother, then we hate the father. And there's nothing more disrespectful that any government or any institution can do than disrespect the creators of that child. We don't love these children. We're just pretending. The greatest American alive. 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 We talk about these kids, okay? But we send them into failing institutions and we don't bolster their family. We just let them fail, right? (laughs) I knew a woman, yes. And she was going through a traumatic experience with an ex. And so she was on the run living in a vehicle with her child, right? And no matter where she went, she was never safe. Her child had no steady uh, housing. And so therefore, she had no steady schooling, right? Just anywhere and everywhere. But there's no government program that says it's mandatory that we got to get this single mother stable. Fuck no. There's a waiting list for the projects, right? There's a waiting list to have stable housing. But ain't no goddamn waiting list when it comes to send these kids to school, right? When it comes to public schools, like, hey, get that child into a public school, okay? And so I'm just wondering, how in the hell is education more important than a child having a place to live? These are important questions that we have to ask in our society right now. How is it more important for a child in America to have an education than it is for him to have a home to go into? And there has to be accountability on both sides, yes? Because the whole thing about poor folks is poor folks hate poor folks, right? And so poor folks, middle class people, they have children and I want them to love their children and they claim to love their children, but they won't do what's necessary for their child to have a wonderful life. Right. I don't know why in America and the middle class and the poor, we believe in divorce. Hell yeah. We believe in out of out of wedlock marriages. I mean, out of wedlock children. (laughs) We believe in it. Have a baby and collect child support, something like that. Have a baby pay child support. With no regard for the child, it's simple mathematics, right? If it takes two people to have a child, it takes two people to raise a child. It's very, very simple, yes. But if you have two people who have a child and they don't live together, guess what you got to do? You got to pay two rents. If you have two parents that have one child and they don't live together, guess what you got to do? You got to cook. Each family has to cook three meals. That's six meals a day plus snacks, okay? You got to pay light bills, water bills, and you have to do all this shit double. And so while we're doing double Dutch and paying double everything, this child is going without because we're not synergizing and making sure this child has everything. I'm going to ask you again. Do you love your child? Do you love your children? And if you love your children, what are you willing to do for your children to keep them out of poverty, right? I can talk about institutional uh, systems of control all day long, right? But me talking about failing schools and us spending millions and billions of dollars on children who are not going to graduate except to go to either Walmart, Amazon, or maybe to the prison system while their families ain't got no place to stay. You hear me? We have to talk about the nuance of these systemic social problems. But before we can talk about the nuance of these social systemic uh, problems and the safety nets that we have for these families, we have to talk about the American culture of people who say, man, fuck these kids. The moment a family breaks up or the moment a husband and a wife or a girlfriend and a boyfriend say that we're going to do things separately, then you're dooming that child to a future of financial instability. God damn, these motherfuckers are so irresponsible, but you can't even say it out loud because people get mad. They get offended. I was in an abusive relationship, never stay in an abusive, toxic relationship, but you know what you can do? You can find resources to have a healthy relationship, but that takes work. That takes diligence. You could be a wonderful parent, but in order to be a wonderful parent, you have to give a fuck. You have to care. You have to know what the the statistics say, right? After 1995, 60% of children born in America were born to a single parent household. You hear me? That's living in chaos. That's living in instability. That's a future that's doomed to poverty. Two people in the in middle class and poor America can't work two jobs and bring that child out of absolute poverty or pay for college. This shit is simple mathematics, but niggas don't want to hold themselves accountable. We want to blame everybody. Now I want to, hey, shit, I can blame city planners, urban planners, because they know where these kids are finna go. Profiting off this goddamn poverty, profiting all these fucking kids, okay? I experienced it as a child. They said, oh, man, you live in a low-income area. Oh, you're black. I don't want to send you to summer camp. They spending hundreds, thousands of dollars to send my little black ass to fucking summer camp when my family could use those thousands of dollars. But goddamn, that experience, that cultural experience is so Project Daddy, you need that. Man, fuck that shit. Those children need a goddamn stable home. Those children need a fucking place to stay. But we won't talk about goddamn permanent housing for beautiful American families. We won't talk about permanent housing for you, the greatest American life. 
because we don't love you and we don't love your motherfucking kids neither. That's the American government talking to you, the greatest American alive, and you have to fight back. And the only way you fight back is through class solidarity. Tell these motherfuckers to get their hand out your motherfucking pocket. It's my money, bitch. It's my family, nigga. These are my goddamn kids. And I want my kids to have the brightest, most bestest future they can ever have in the whole entire world. But the only way that you do that is to have a stable home. And the only way you do that is for American and American citizens to invest in families and goddamn homes. But hell no. Y'all don't love those kids. You say fuck those kids. And Project Daddy says that we have to do better because you are the greatest American alive. Project Daddy in the motherfucking building. Hands up, hands up to the goddamn son, the greatest American alive. You are the greatest American alive. You need to love your children and love yourself. Fight back against the royal elite. Stop sucking million dollar dick because you don't have to consume million dollar information when you're a person who makes less than $30,000. You need some very specific things. You need stable housing. Fuck some education. Fuck some insurance. You need a place to live. And then we'll talk about things from there. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.